Hey guys and welcome back to Stray. My name is Twitchy and we are in the slums deep underneath the city of the city that used to hide humans from the world around the outside and now the outside is a dangerous place but we fell down here and we're we're determined we're determined to shake up the status quo of the area i made myself a little robot friend you can see him in my backpack over there oh look a translate i, I think i will say that elliot programming okay this is cool knock on the door and wait for us to open i don't know how to knock on the door let's walk up here and scratch this uh we are trying to make our way to the sewers because there are a bunch of robots that have indeed made their way to the outside oh hello can i can i come on in can i meet you is that fine is that a thing i'm allowed to do uh, the button's not working but i guess i'm just gonna walk inside and call that good can i meet you now my friend hello you locked me inside well i i guess that's fine i normally get to press the x button and it goes yes meet okay hello how are you doing uh you're here for elliot he's just over there can i show you this mysterious password this is a bit of paper that we picked up early in early in our game it's got got the code for a safe i don't know very old binary code you have to be a real geek to read this okay that's a little bit of a shame we're gonna go around and we're gonna just like look at stuff when uh we were programmed to be slaves but since Oh, wait, wait, let me count. Three million billion... Wait, let me... Two, 2.55 billion days we have... So, we have a soul. Uh, I hope one day the outsiders will find the exit to this hell. Momo. Momo's a friend of ours. Momo's one of the people who are going to show us the way out. Look, there is some sheet music here. We've been looking for sheet music all around because one of the robots here can indeed play the guitar. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to let them do that. This person very obsessed with the outside by the looks of it there are pictures of outside everywhere uh, i'm gonna just do a standard catty thing there we go when all else fails let's just knock stuff off the side shall we okay so i hear a guy called elliot is here this is um i've not been told to be here i've not been told to do anything here but you know what this looks like someone i might want to talk to about the outside of course being a cat I don't do a lot of talking. It has to be honest. Uh, I have to be honest, sorry. I'm just going to rip this uh, little bit of floor up here. I feel very, very grateful for doing so. Oh, look, we can find a memory. Uh, my robot friend on my back here, he's uh, missing a lot of memories, and this triggers him. So uh, hopefully that will tell us something about the world that was before. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. I mean, yeah, cool. Oh, look, we've got we've got quite a few memories now. There's two right at the beginning that we've missed, and I'm kind of sad about that. I have no idea where they are located. So you must be Elliot. Hello, how are you? Can I meet you? Hello. Your arm's kind of shaky. Are you doing okay? You know, can I help you? Uh, I mean, ca can you help me? Um, how about this, this password? You want me to read this binary code? Just a second. I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means duffer bar. Strange, who gave you a rendezvous via binary code? Uh, there's only one bar that I know about here, so I assume that's something to do with that. Uh, also, can we give you the broken tracker? Wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Of course you can. I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Wait! I've got a blanket. I've got a poncho. I went and made friends with a grandma down in the co down in the corner, and she was like, "Get me some cable, and I'll make you a poncho." I was like, "I'll make you a poncho." The tracker, by the way, was used by one of the robots that has made its way up to the surface to track his son, and then his son was like, "Here's the tracker. Maybe we could reverse it. Maybe we can." Oh, where did you find this? Tis amazing. Let me try it on. How is the robot cold? Does does it have temperature sensors? Has it been given the ability to shiver? Ah, oh, look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Beautiful. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. I'm not sure about the logic that just went down there, but I'm going to accept it as a game. Let's take a look. Just got to give it an update. And one more thing. Voila. Okay, we've gained a new item. The fix tracker. I was expecting to have to track down 
uh, so, someone else before this got fixed. So that that's great. We did this totally by accident. There you go, little one. Good luck uh, finding who you are looking for. Yes, indeed. Good luck finding who I am looking for. Uh, well, thank you very much. Can I jump up on the... Yeah, get on the keyboard. This is a very important part of being a cat. Uh, just push all these off the side here. Very, very important work. I'm sure... I'm sure you understand what I need to do here. Okay, let's let's jump down. Uh, so Duffer... But, oh, hello. What, what's, what's this do? Is this just scratching or is this... Gonna open the door. It's just scratching. Okay, I mean, fa fair enough. Fair enough. I, I like to go down deep enough to be able to see those dark, dark scratches. Okay, there we go. So I, I don't think I'm allowed to go through that door. Uh, I feel like we've probably done what we need to do here. Hey, what, what's this? Let's press Y and open this up. Uh, there are a few of these blinds around here like this that we have opened like this in the past. Okay, look, look, there's the bar. Did you wait? I want to go back. I want to go back. I want. I want to go like, hey, look out the window. But there's the bar. So D Duffer Bar. Let's let's go see what we can see. It's the only bar out there, and we've been given uh, been given it as a clue. So I I, I must follow the raging clue. Uh, have a hey hey look right there right there. This is our friend Momo, by the way. They're the one trying to help us get to the outside. They were uh, relatively obsessed with the outside themselves until their friends decided that they could make it, uh, and he was scared, so he stayed behind. Then his friends never came back, and uh, yeah, th things things happened. Uh, anyway, it looks like there's a thing where I can interact with. One, two, eight, three. Oh, it's very nearly, very nearly my birthday. I, I was uh, 28 to 83. Uh, okay, let's go back out over here and see if we can't do a thing. Uh, now, we've got one, one, two, eight, three. Where I know where I got that bit of paper from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream around this way. Before we go to where I got that bit of paper from, I need to make a little delivery. Hello, how are you, Mor Morosk? I'm not sure how we're saying your name properly. I oh, thank you for that music. I will practice. That's good. Uh, do you think you can find more? Uh, where's number two? Here we go. Number two. Would you like number two? Ballad of the Lonely Robot. I think I can play this. Look. Can I not listen? Is that not a thing I would rather do? Let's get a little snooze over here whilst we are listening to the music. I'm going to literally be quiet for a couple of seconds and listen to this here music. All right, that's a couple of seconds. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm gonna jump up and get back on with this. It's a, it's a good little, little ditty. It's got a, got a little roll to it. One of these ones, right? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, so round the. Oh, hello. You know I'm gonna get my head stuck in this. Yeah, I can't, I can't help it. Help, help. The controls are not doing what I press here. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to walk off in that direction, and it's, it's not doing it. If I hold like the other way, it does kind of wander this way. But I'm just holding one direction, uh, and uh, it seems very. Oh, the bag fell off my back, my head. So we've got this. Uh, use the digi code. Indeed, I would love to. Thank you very much. One, oh no, one, two, eight. Three, something like that, and we found a code. Okay, that is a great. Uh, I can't read it. Oh, it's another music sheet. All right, I suppose that that's pretty good. Uh, well, we've got that now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go see if I've got number three to hand over to this guy. Hey, how's it going? Would you like another piece of music? Let's uh, have a look. Thank you for that music. I will practice. You think you can find more? I think I have indeed found a few more. Here's another one. Untitled. Uh, this tune contains exactly 44 notes. Exactly 44 notes. So that's like 11 bars if it's a four. I'm not... I might not be sold on this one. It's a bit abstract. Yeah, I'm gonna just walk away at this point. I'm gonna walk away. Uh, so what will we do? We, we, we've solved. A, we've solved a thing. We've solved a thing. That is a crazy, crazy thing. Uh, I want to talk to people. Oh, it's Roshi. How are you doing? Uh, I can take pair of the plants. The so humans improved them so much. Now they require very little light. Just had a bit of water and look how big they get. It's really an amazing technology. I've actually done all the things that I was aiming to do out here. So we're, we're doing quite well. Hello, Mr. Guardian. How are you doing? Can we talk? Are you okay? You look lost. What do you need? Oh, well, I mean, ha have a look at this tracker. What do you think? Is it one of those new gaming consoles? Uh, no. No. Okay, I don't think you know what's going on. Hello, have I read this on the wall before? Can I jump up and jump up? What are you? Translate. This, the ancient stories speak of natural light that leaked from the star and landed at our feet. 
This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them grow. Hmm, sounds familiar, right? Sounds familiar. What's on the other side here? We are getting some lore. We're getting, we're getting like, data dumped here. I'm all about it. T tell me what this says. Please, little robot. Our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It said that they once dominated the world. Okay, that that that's cool. They, I guess I think I know who the ancestors are. Okay, so to uh, use the tracker, we need to... Hey, what... Wait, 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 there's a, a thing over here that wasn't here last time I was here. Hello, Leto, how are you doing? You're new. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend us from the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. That is true. And who are you? Hello, can I talk to you? Meat, you are a brand new one. Vins, hello. Look at all the hidden gems in the trash. Pennies from heaven. From somewhere, anyway. Okay, that that's really cool. I am a little bit lost, so what I'm going to do is make use of a uh, a, a little bit of a um, hint system from my robot friend E12. Now that we fixed the tracker, let's find uh, Seamus and track down his papa. No time to lose, indeed, no time to lose. I'm wondering if there's a way of climbing up here, though. Uh, I suppose there is a little bit of time to lose because you know I like to explore, and exploring is uh, I mean, it's cool. But it's not the most efficient use of time, you know? Can we go up that way? We cannot go up that way. Uh, I want to go... Ooh, a little bit weird there, a little bit weird. I kind of want to climb up on the surfaces. I think I might have found the end of my climbing abilities. Okay, that, that's unfortunate. Now, we do know where Samus is. I'm just going to... Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. I mean, to be fair, who doesn't like... A little cat rubbing up against your leg. I think we're trying to make our way over to Samus, which is, oh, if I remember correctly, do, do I have a map? I don't think I've got a map. No, it looks like looks like the map is a, a thing of the past. Uh, so let's, I mean, let's go talk to Momo first because we know where Momo is, uh, and then Samus, if I remember correctly, is all the way over sort of that side of the slums. It's a bit of a distance to go, but this this guy should have something to say. Hello, are you doing all right? I'm really struggling getting the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Samus's? Uh, yes, but you're not gonna let me show you anything. Okay, that's crazy. Normally you get to just show them anything that you want. Okay, we are going to make our way over the slums and far, far away. Uh, this might not actually be the way that I want to go, because I wanted to go down there. Is it gonna let me jump? Am I, am I allowed to jump? What is that? Do you see that little marker on the side over there? Uh, I think this is one that I've already seen, actually. Uh, get a little distracted by things already there. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of soybean oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. I'm not allowed to take that job for some reason. We just talked to the Guardian and uh, no, no one was like, hey... Do you want to do that job? Anyway, this is Samus's flat. Flat. Uh, he used to share it with his uh, good friend and geek um, dad, Doc. Let's let's just press this button and see. Did you manage to fix the tracker? I did. Look, 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 look. Here it is. I fixed it. Do you like it? You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Well, thank you very much. Please give it here. Okay. Now that I've given it there, what's going to happen? Are we gonna are we gonna attune it to the frequencies of Doc? Are we gonna find some way the natural resonance of his power system or something like that? Sounds like a dial tone. Is that is that really what's going on? What what you're finding, Samus? What you're finding? He's not very good at explaining what's going on, is he? We got a ping! I'm down for the ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where your papa went. Okay, let let I'm gonna follow you. If you if you get walking, I'll just kind of like stroll in behind you. Uh, we seem to be doing okay. What is this? That's just a little something to knock around. Okay. There are other robots out there. Like, if I get in this way, guy's way, am I going to... Ah, there are other robots out there that I can knock over if I get into their feet. Turns out that is not the case today. Con constantly having a look around to see if there's anything that I missed. In particular, looking for vending machines. Because that... Push this. Uh, because the vending machines can give us um, energy drinks. And in the energy... Hey, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a thing that I can interact with? 
Hey Teddy, are you, are you good? Uh, Grandma made me the scarf, it's wonderful, she knits so well. That is cool, but no, it doesn't turn. Turns out that is not a vending machine I can interact with. I thought I'd just check, thanks for waiting for me, Samus. I thought we'd be coming to this door. Look at that, it's the door to the end of the safe zone. Um, that we're not going to be allowed out here, though. I can tell you, this is not going to be a thing we're allowed to do. Hey, Samus, are you good? Can I talk? Are we allowed to talk? Are we allowed to just have a little chat about what happened here? It must be here. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Wait, are we at... Could we not go with friends? Could we not... I'm not I'm not too keen on what's just about to go down. I feel like maybe we're about to get in more trouble than we are able to deal with. Yeah, look at that. So that red red fungal microbial map thing uh, is a microbe that was made by the humans that used to live here to eat all the trash and then it went rogue and started eating everything and now we've got to be careful. Why am I left here on my own? Where's Samus? Oh yeah, no, he's with me. He's with. Am I about to watch a robot get eaten? Is that something that's about to happen? I I would very much not like to watch that happen. Um, I I feel like I might be traumatized by such things. Uh, I that, <laughs> that that wouldn't be really the way. Uh, look at these Zerg eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I, I agree, mate. You shouldn't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zergs will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you are a friend. I mean, yay. Outside a badge. All about it. I'll open the door for you. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Do you want to take music number four? Cheap music. I don't play an instrument. Sorry. Okay, well, I suppose you can let me out. Ah, uh, we really doing this? Is this is this really where we're going? Why don't I get the tracker? Why am I not allowed to know where they're from? Am I just like blindly following this route now? Hoping that we can uh, just, just happen to stumble upon... I don't even want to make a noise. Oh, you heard me? Yeah, you okay? Okay, cool. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm really worried, uh, if, if I'm to be honest with you, because there are a bunch of bad guys out here. I keep um, drawing parallels between the way they look. Look at the wall! Oh my gosh, yes! Uh, I used to live in the wall on the surface before I fell down here and hurt my leg and couldn't get back up. Um, but now, you know, I seem to be a, uh, a fully functional kitty, so maybe we can actually fix this at some point. This is what I'm trying to do after all, is make my way back up to the surface so that I can rejoin my clan. There was at least another three uh, cats up there. Dead end. Oh, look at them. I don't know if you can see them just over there. If I press this button. Oh, no, we can't really tell, but those got there. See them? They look like little pebbles or something. Just over the top of my ears. Uh, they, they are the bad guys. Um, I wish there was a stealth option. That would make me feel a little bit... Oh, yeah, that's definitely the way I wanted to go down there. I'm just going to run this way. Do you know how I was like, I wish stealth? Well, I, I wish for action now. Uh, if we could just keep moving and avoid all of these, I will be incredibly uh, good at this. Go, 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 go. All right, I don't know what was the way I was supposed to do that, um, but I guess this will have to do. Can I jump over this way? Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. If, as long as you can like point in the right direction and just keep tapping the jump button, I think everything's going to work out okay for us. There could be secrets everywhere. There could be little bits of story and lore and graffiti that I would love to read, but unfortunately I cannot. Oh, I got one on me. I got one on me. That's not good. So we're going to go around the outside and then through the middle here. Beautiful, beautiful. Still more Zergs to worry about. Uh, it's a shame that the only way to do this is through speed. Uh, I really would like to see... Whew. There we go. I think I'm safe. We safe? I feel like I'm safe now. I mean, toxic goop, kind of safe, right? W will the Zergs mutate from this toxic goop? Is that is that a thing we need to worry about? Uh, if I jump back this way, uh, we've used we've used these things before. Um, I can't I can't reach. Okay, where where are we going? We're not going that way. Uh, wait, have I got stuck? Am I am I in trouble here? Uh, okay, we jump over that way again. All right, fine, fine. That that's good. Oh, it looks like we're going to make our way around here. Looking up, I see... Well, I mean, like, look at this place. This is all right. This is nice. Uh, I don't know whether we've got any living organics around. 
But hey, I like the robots. The robots are good friends here. Uh, I suppose the Zergs do count as... I want to, I wanna like, look up and over. Do they count as organics? Are we supposed to respect them for being Earth's last bit of life? Uh, I, yeah, I, I feel like... We're supposed to... What, what are we doing here? What? Am I, I just, am I just riding this one out? I feel like I'm just riding this one out. Okay, and down. God, this guy's not so good on the landing. So this is the second landing where he didn't quite stick it. The first one obviously being from the top of the big wall. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Oh, I messed my leg up again. Look at that. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Why, why must we? Why must we? Do you reckon we got anything in the... Oh, man, this this feels like it might be painful. I, I just want to go and have a look if we can, because there could there could be music shit. What are you doing? Just licking yourself randomly. Uh, there might be music sheets out here. There could be anything. Oh, and my leg's fine again. Just, as simple as that. I just gave it a little lick, and boom, job job done. No, no harm, no foul, right? Uh, okay, let's get up here and have a little look around. There seems to be toxic sludge and bicycles. Toxic bicycles? That might be a thing. You never know. Uh, okay, that way. I actually kind of wanted to jump onto this pipe here. For some reason, it made me jump down or rather than up. So many air conditioning units around. I presume the, uh, the world got rather warm before all the humans were dealt with. Uh, and uh, then we used the air conditioning to cool the area down. It doesn't seem like it would be a problem at all. Look at this guy's face. Urgh, angry. Uh, but I've got to go that way, but I just want to have a quick look down. Ooh, actually, there's more going on. There's a robot there. Let's go look up this one first. I feel, I feel like that way might be forwards, and this might be something secondary. Or, I mean, maybe they all loop around in different ways. You, you, you never know. I might actually be strolling upon I don't I don't know what is the actual way forwards here that looks like something that would be cool to go check out can I get back up afterwards are we in a different place like a different city you know what I'm saying like a, a maybe a different borough might be more of the word hey the basketball cool uh, okay what, what are we gonna find around here I'm just kind of sticking to a wall and we'll just follow around till we find oh look Use item. What item are we going to use? I don't. I don't have an item to use. Okay, well we can't do that. Look how many plugs there are. Hmm. It's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to be functional. Yeah, I kind of figured that bit out. Uh, we're going to have to try and find something. I wonder whether those parts are to be found where that other robot was. I'm actually tempted to go back and check it out. Uh, if we do not find anything along this way i want i bet the generator extends this bridge am i not allowed to jump oh i can jump that way oh it's terrifying though absolutely terrifying i'm gonna go back and see what that other area is about oh can i interact with i cannot interact with this yeah we're gonna go see what the other area is about oh no oh no i've been i've been had I thought I could jump back up and over, but it turns out no. All right, may maybe we'll find a way back after whatever it is we need to do here. I'll just jump over that. Beautiful. So let's follow the wire. Let's see where this wire goes. Maybe it's going to lead us to... I don't like the amount of, like, this this mossy growth that is around here. It feels like it's going to lead me into danger. Uh, the fact that I'm walking on it also kind of disgusts me. Uh, I... I, I theorized earlier on in the game that maybe that it's a, some sort of sensory organ for the rest of the zergs so that they can feel oh look in through here yeah please bam hello so that the other zergs know where i am when i'm touching them look at that who's keeping them prisoner i mean i suppose yeah oh there's a knife there. um little worrisome little worrisome hello what do we got here doesn't look like anything serious. There's a, a cable that doesn't go anywhere. So who's been using this place? Who's been using this place? Can't go that way. Okay, fine. Down here. Hello? Doc? Is your name Doc? I'm gonna jump up. Matt, I must have freaked him out. Whoa! Wait, you're not a Zerg? Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been here alone for ages. I came here to test my defluxor, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son so dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. 
Okay, I'm fairly sure we can figure this out, right? You know, that's kind of the purpose of us. We're here to provide that spark of creativity that the robots are lacking. Uh, is this the thing? This looks like the thing. Yeah, I'm just going to knock it with my paw. And it's going to be like, yes. Hey, be careful with the defluxor. A fully charged, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.2 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think of Fuse Blue. And with all the Zergs all around, it's too dangerous for you to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the, the flux or recharge. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. All right, I think this, this is what we do. This is what we do. Why so many CRT kilometers? I still I still question this. I'm turn the music on. And uh, I saw this down here. Very important. Uh, we we got it. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah, it's a very important part of being a cat. Every time. Every time. I would I would feel like I did a bad if I didn't. You know. Oh. Same as like knocking all the books over. I'd feel bad if I didn't. Uh, okay, where did he go? Hello. By, oh, hello. What's this? I will, I will take a memory. Thank you. What memory do we have? I've seen humans wear costumes like these. Have you? That doesn't fill me with hope, mate. Seeing humans in armor. They were small and running around, making a lot of noise. Ah, it's just kids. That's right. Ah, yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt so much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he's Mrs. Seamus. Is that the same thing? I think it might be, mate. I think it might be. Uh, okay, so I can't go this way. He must have gone upstairs, right? He must have gone upstairs. Uh, I see a cup over there, though. There we go. It hadn't been spilt yet. I couldn't I couldn't live with myself without spilling the cup. Uh, okay, so up here. Look, there are no clocks. 16? Six, 16 hours on that clock up there. I only just noticed that. Did the others have 16 on the clock? Kind of makes sense, hexadecimal, but like, uh, yeah, okay. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Hey, I got a fuse. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxor. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Okay, I think we got this. I think we got this. Up and over, up and out. Uh, is there a thing to interact with elsewhere, though? Like, look, look at this. What is it? Wait. I'm probably not supposed to go this way, but I want to look. Feels scary. Okay, let's let's go out this way. Uh, that's that's not the route I want to go because, as I say, it feels scary. We know we're just following cables as well, so if we can avoid everything else, that would be cool. I am very much up for avoiding any and all conflict that I don't need. I thought I jump. Uh, any and all conflict that I don't need to take part in. Uh, because I'm just a cat. I'm just a cat in a machine's world. And who knows what, what I can actually achieve. Uh, I think it's greatness, but who knows. Uh, this one here, use item. Thank you very much. Now, this is going to be noisy, so we've got to get ready to run. Uh, use that item, and I turned. I don't know what else we can do about that. Uh, he's like, yes. Yes, infrared power. Beautiful. And now where am I going? I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff going down. Um, here they come. Here they come. Oh, oh, mate. That's a bit, a bit savage. Uh, I'm going to just run. There's not really much else I can do. All right, sorry about the weird pause. Uh, my throat was uh, not having the best of time. So wh where am I going? I'm just kind of running back to from whence we came, right? So, uh, we go around this corner, up this corner here. We know that if we go around here on the slope up to the ledge and then through the window, we should go and see Doc, who should hopefully be overjoyed that we fix stuff. He, he, he looks happy. He really does look happy. Amazing! You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxor is? It's definitely on our way out of here. Uh, wait a minute. I might be able to mount the defluxor onto your drone. I mean, that would be pretty cool. It's a big bit of a big, um, big light to just kind of weld onto the top of my dude. Is that actually what's going down? Or has he just replaced the bat the uh, the light source that we had? I don't know. It's one or the other. Double thumbs up, though. Can't go wrong. 
It worked. The defluxor is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. All right. Are we following you? Is that a thing? I think we could just follow this guy back. Normally, I'd be like, all right, let's finish the get the, the episode here. But I feel like just bringing this guy back is the uh, the next bit we need to do. It's going to take uh, some time for to get him out the door, though, right? Are you? Are we Are we literally... When can I knock these off? Thank you. Uh, are we literally just going to walk out the front door? Yeah, looks like maybe. Uh, so if I do this, does that help? No, not that one. This one? How do I How do I do this? Take out all those zergs so we can get through. Okay, hold left button. To, ooh! Well, that, that looks painful. Oh, I held it down for too long. Oh, I see a little uh, bar along the outside there. So actually, if I just do this, is that good enough? Okay. Wow, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool down for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. So do I. So do I. Are we going to open this up or what? Okay, okay. Gate, Gates opening, gates are. It's a good padlock he had there. It's a good padlock. So we just pop that button up. Uh, we got the light. Yeah, like, like that. Okay, that, that's fine. I just want to make sure it's... It's there and ready to be used at a moment's notice. Ah, uh, like this, this, this is gonna go wrong, right? Gonna open the door. It's gonna make a noise. Suddenly, it's gonna be like the Orcs of Moria. This switch doesn't work. Looks like the electricity has been cut. Okay. Um, I wonder whether this has something to do with what we need to do. Uh, I don't know. I feel like actually it's all right already. Wait, wait, wait. It's one of one of those traffic problem uh, uh, sliding puzzles, right? Like this. You and then we go in here. We move this over here. I don't even know what my actual end point is. I just saw that these two parts could interact like this. And uh, my my puzzle-solving brain went, well, this has got to be like this, right? Uh, you, you see the little bit up there? Can I now just kind of jump up? Ah, look, there's a, there's a door there. A door, event, whatever we want to call it. Uh, we'll give this uh, a go. Uh, and then squeeze our way out of here. Up and up and uh through we go uh i bet there's gonna be some troubles in here this feels a little sewery doesn't it i'm a, i'm a little bit worrisome a little bit worrisome oh look here's here's a little lever down for the levers now that i've thrown the lever oh it opens this door and what are we gonna find on the other side of this door i feel like i want to just turn this on ah! Ah! I'm, I'm getting i'm getting mold i'm getting mold uh i need to let that go uh, around here, we've got a few things that we want to explode. Uh, can, can I run? Can I run? I'm trying to run again a bit more. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. Okay, so now you've done that. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Okay, that's pretty good. Didn't let it overheat again. Can you get off me, please? That was on my butt. Um, there's, like, entire piles of these things around. Uh, Doc, can you, can you please get up and move? Uh, noises are bad, Theo. Blowing them up. Uh, there's another one over here somewhere. Let's get them off. I've got, I've got to, like, get these go. I'm, I'm actually having trouble here. Let's uh, walk over this way. Man, that, that was uh, actually more effort than I was expecting. Where's my, where's my robot friend? I think I want to run around this way just for the last moment. So let's go make sure that Doc is safe over here. Yeah, he's, he's terrified. I get it. I get it. I mean... I'm not feeling too safe either. Hoo wee! You good, mate? You good, wake? That was close. Let's go back home. Uh, I, is, is it literally just the walk down here, though? Is is that all we are doing? I sure do hope so. Didn't take me that long to travel out here, so there can't be that much going on on the way back. But I suppose... Are we ready for it? Are we ready for it? I feel like this is about to become a problem. I've turned the light on, but not the... Uh, Oh, where are they? You hear them? I don't hear them so far. Uh, there's a few down there. It looks like um, the, there's a lot of eggs. Can I can I blow up the eggs? Looks like I cannot blow up the eggs. Uh, is this a safe house? I'm not seeing any markers to say that this is the safe area. But let's push our way through and see what we find. Are we good? Are we going in? Am I going in? Okay, I'll go first. Let's see what we can spot. It seems mildly toxic, but actually I think we're okay. Oh my gosh. 
People are gonna lose their minds. There's the Guardian and Seamus. Oh, wow. Pa, pa, pa. Why did you abandon me? Did you get the milk? Is That's the question. Did he get the milk? <laughs> Emotions. Emotions are high. I'm so glad I, I brought these two back together. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, uh, outside, it's not as dangerous as you thought, but it is actually kind of dangerous. And of course, the cat. Yes, getting the pets that I deserve. Beautiful. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see the Samus is no longer alone. Now we know we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you. Ah, the sewers. Beautiful. And with that, oh, Doc and Seamus look happy together. I think we did a good thing. I think we did a good thing. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to go through the sewers, risk our lives to try and get back up to the surface. But I'll see you then. Oh, when we're going to do that. Bye.